Hey guys, this is Alex and I'm here with another video and I have been really busy. I have been really busy playing Destiny for the last month so I haven't really posted uh, a lot of videos. I did post one video on Advanced Warfare but I haven't really gotten too far into the game. I haven't even finished half the story yet. Uh, again, I jumped back on Destiny. I had some unfinished business and I wanted to finish. I wanted to see if I could get to level 30. It's been a hell of a journey. A ton of grinding through the vault of glass, you know, hoping that, you know, the RNG gods would actually, you know, give me the armor that I needed. It was a painful, painful time for me uh, the last month. I must have done 8 to 15 raids and I still didn't get the armor that I was looking for. All I needed was greaves and gauntlets and those were the most difficult pieces for me to get. I have some friends who got that, you know, the first two raids that they played, they got the greaves and gauntlets and... For some people like me, that is like the hardest armor to get. So, finally I have made it. I am a level 30. And I wanted to show you guys, I wanted to give you guys a, uh, an overview of my level 30 character. And I don't know if you recognize the gun that's sitting on my back, the gun. This is the Vex Mytho class. I managed to get this gun uh, a couple of days ago when we finished the raid on hard. The legit way we beat Atheon. Uh, we actually killed him. This was not, you know, one of those guns that we, I got before uh, the patch where you could push him off the ledge. No, we actually beat him. I, I was in a good group of guys and we actually earned this gun by killing him. So, uh, without uh, further ado, uh, here's my uh, character screen. So, we're going to go through that here real quick. Um, you can see the Vex Mytho class, fully upgraded. Uh, fully upgraded gun. It is a really, really nice gun. Um, I don't know how good it must have been before the nerf uh, from Bungie, but uh, I would have loved to be able to play with this gun before it got nerfed. It must have been really strong. Right now, it's, I would say I'm about on the same level as the Suros regime in terms of, you know, effectiveness. But the only benefit, you know, other than the Suros is here, it actually does fire damage. And my only complaint about this gun is, uh, you know, that the magazine, the magazine is a good magazine, but the reserve ammo that you can hold for it is not that much at all. Like with a magazine of 56, you can only hold 112 in reserve. And it, it really chews through your ammo really quickly. So, you know, 5 or 10 minutes using this gun and then you're out of ammo. It is really unfortunate because otherwise, uh, you know, this will make a perfect gun to keep on all the time. But I really, really like my Suros regime still uh, compared to the Mytho class. But the Mytho class itself is a really nice gun. You know, when people see it on your back, they just notice you all the time. They send you messages, they point at you, they invite you to parties and teams, you know, to do the raid. So, yeah, it's a great gun. Uh, I'm also using fully upgraded Praetith Revenge. Uh, sniper rifle again one of those amazing guns uh, that you get out of the vault of glass this is a really good sniper if you don't have one uh, or if you do have one but you haven't upgraded it you should fully upgrade this sniper rifle it is a really good weapon and finally the corrective measure one of the best weapons to use on atheon uh, normal or hard mode uh, this weapon will just chug off uh, health like you wouldn't believe. Like you can actually rip off half of Atheon's health. If you have two or three members on your team that have this gun and you have a Titan that can give you weapons of light when you're uh, fighting him with the Times Vengeance, uh, you can actually take off more, about more, more than half his health even if you're good. Uh, it is a really amazing, uh, really amazing gun. Uh, and then finally, uh, here's the armor on the right side of the screen. It, I have a full set of raid armor, so what I really like about this armor, besides the fact that it gets me to level 30, is that uh, it actually tells a short story of Kaber. Kaber, uh, so the helmet actually tells you a little piece here. Uh, he fought the Vex alone, but somehow they didn't kill him. Uh, he consumed their technology like fire, fashioning armor from their remnants. In the aftermath, he became obsessed with the machines. He was claimed by the vault. His armor and myth are all that remain. So, it is a, it's an interesting little story, very short story. I don't know what the full story is. I don't read Grimoire on Bungie.net or anything, but it looks like, uh, you know, Cabra might have been a bit of a badass if he faced the Vex alone, or maybe he was out on a mission of vengeance. I don't know exactly what it was. 
uh, he probably decided to assimilate the technology because he would be more effective in fighting them with their own technology, using it against them, that makes sense. But then maybe he became obsessed with the machines afterwards, and then he was seeking more of their technology. Maybe he found the Vault of Glass and he was able to open it, but he went in there, he didn't know what to expect, and maybe he got raped by Ation or something. I don't know exactly what the story was, but you know, his armor was all that remains in there and I'm wearing it. And it is a really cool looking armor. You can actually see the helmet is fashioned to look something like a Vex head. Or some of my friends would actually call it a bottle opener. Which, you know, arguably, yes, I can see the resemblance to a bottle opener. But it does make me look like a Vex. And I am wearing Chatter White right now. But if, I'm going to take off the shaders so you can see uh, what it really looks like. Uh, the armor does sort of look like it was colored after Vex, although my personally I think that the million million shader looks more like Vex than the default shading for this armor. I think this is more closely uh, matching what a Vex might look like in terms of color and also matches the uh, Vex Mythoclast rifle color as well to some degree. It's not exact match but you know it's it's pretty cool. Uh, I prefer having the chatter white. Now I also have here the uh, aspect of glass ship, a white ship with uh, gold uh, lining. It is really nice uh, legendary ship there. And you can also get this from Atheon on hard if you push him off the ledge. And I have a time breaker. Oh my god, the time breaker. Every time you beat Atheon on hard you have a higher chance of getting a time breaker. I already have like five of these things and uh, I gave three of them to each of my characters. I have three characters now, two titans. One is level 30, the other is 29. He's just missing the boots or the greaves that uh, you know that I have on this Titan here. And my third character is a hunter. He's got no red gear at all. He just has exotic helmet and legendary gear. So each of them has a time breaker, and I have extras even. It's it's ridiculous. They just you get a time breaker all the time. I just started scrapping them when I get extras. So this is what my character looks like right now. Um, uh, this is my level 30 overview. I really I thought I was going to give up on this game when I didn't get what I wanted, but you know, finally I got it and it just it's a, such a good feeling to get the level 30. You feel accomplished. You feel like, you know, people notice you. And maybe not everybody knows this as you see. There is another level 30 over here, you see. Uh, I can inspect people here just to inspect player and see what's um this guy is going to be famous on YouTube. Yay. He has an exotic piece of armor and yeah, I actually, my recommendation is that, you know, one exotic piece of armor. Uh, I don't follow that right now. I have all raid gear and I think it looks really cool on me. Uh, but effectively, uh, you need a, a one exotic piece to give you some benefit or bonus that you don't normally get with raid gear. I think that's beneficial. Um, he has his uh, Fate Bringers fully upgraded, his Icebreaker but his machine gun is not. I guess maybe he's working on that now. A lot of people really don't um, uh, don't upgrade their guns and I think a lot of people underestimate the importance of upgrading your guns. You have to have your guns upgraded. I mean that's what makes you more competitive and that's what helps you eventually in the Vault of Glass when you're facing hordes of oncoming enemies. Um, yeah, so I upgrade all of my guns. As a matter of fact, I even have a shitload of them in my uh, in my vault here, I mean, I'm keeping them. I have a Monte Carlo, I have a Bad Juju, I have the Last Word, a lot of people, you know, the Last Word, yeah. I have an extra Truth Rocket Launcher, I have, um, I have Patience in Time, I have a second Icebreaker, the Vanquisher 3 or 8, I don't remember which one I got that from, uh, from a Legendary Drop in Engram. I have Hazen Vengeance, Found Verdict, my Suros Regime is here on the bottom. I uh, have the Comedian Shotgun. I have a lot of armor also as well that I'm saving up, you know, some armor for Warlock in case I start a Warlock. I have 129 Ascendant Shards. I've been hoarding them for a long time. I have also over 100 Ascendant Energy. It's sitting in one of my other characters uh, inventories right now. I need to have 35 Strange Coins with 57 Modes of Light. Uh, a lot of Spin Metal and Relic Iron. Uh, none of my items really require it right now, but I have a lot of stockpile there, so I've been I've been really, really working uh, to have, you know to, to get a lot done in this game, and um, yeah, it's it's taken me like over a month to get here, but uh, you know when you look at yourself and you're level 30, eventually I think you can say there was a uh, time well spent, you know, even if you had to fight through all the aggravation of 
of not getting what you want, uh, you know, earlier because the game decided that, you know, I wasn't going to give it to you because everything is random, but keep trying and, you know, eventually you'll get there. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to be posting more videos uh, soon. Uh, how we beat the raid. I was in a group with all level 30s. We beat Atheon on hard and everything. I'm going to post a video on that later. But if there's anything you want to see in particular, I've gotten pretty good at doing bounties. If there are any bounties that are giving you trouble, let me know and I will I will post on my page uh, easy ways of completing bounties. At least all the easy ways that I have found of completing bounties. Um, so until next time, until the next video, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.